Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is part 32 for step by step guide to learn Angular. So if you are directly coming to this video, I will recommend you to watch previous video first and then you can come to this video. These are the topics we are going to cover in this complete video series and in this uh, video we are working on the prime ng table and uh, we will add sorting and filter in this video. This is the application we are developing in this complete video series. So let's open a visual code and let's start. So this is a table we designed in the previous video and this is a basic table. It's not having any sorting or filter. So in this video we are going to add sort and filter for all this columns so if you will refer that prime ng document so previously uh, we were referring this uh, basic table code and if you want to add a sort so prime ng is having a good documentation so we can just go there and if i will scroll down i can see the code examples also here so for adding a sorting in our code we need to add uh, this uh, p sort table column directive so let's copy this code and add it in our code so let's quickly paste it and uh, renamed uh, this code accordingly so yeah that's all and one more thing which we required is uh, that icon for sorting so i can copy this icon code and paste it in our visual code so with this change our sorting should work so let's verify in the browser so this is our to do page and now i can see the icons for sorting and let me sort task name so I can see it's uh, sorted and let's do for category so that is also working and even date is also working so sorting is working now uh, next step we can start for filter so in the prime ng documentation just below to sort I can see filter option so let's uh, open this and uh, here I can see the code for the filter. So for adding a filter, few things which uh, is required is uh, uh, we need to add this reference variable first. And the second thing is uh, if you want to add the global filter. So let me show you what is a global filter. So global filter is uh, like a global search. So we need to add this uh, global filter so we can copy these two options from here and uh, what are the columns you want to uh, yeah, to be added for your global filter suppose if i want to globally filter only by task name and category so i will add only task name and category in this array and uh, next thing which we need to copy is we need to uh, this is our header so below our header we need to add our filter properties so similar way we can copy from here so let's start so let's copy this filter and global filter value and paste it here and let's add a reference variable and uh, now let's rename the columns uh, for our table and also one more thing we need is to add this text box for global search so let's copy it here and let's rename it and this use our reference variable here and also change the placeholder as per our requirement and also for aligning this uh, global search box properly i need to add one css and which you can find in the video description block so this is a very basic css i'm going to add and now let's verify our changes in the browser for global search so now i can see one new label with the list of to do and uh, i can see one global search box and now let's filter by task name we have this three record right so what i'm going to do is i will write a test here and let's see if i able to filter it or not so t e s t and then i can see the three record is filtered now let's see if i want to filter by category so we are having this two record for social so let me add social here so i can see that my record is getting filtered by category column as well 
So now I'm going to add a filter for each column. So let me show you what it is. So like that, I'm going to add for all, all our column. So let's come here and we can see the header similar way we are also having. And we can copy this code from here. So let's copy this and open our visual code. Let's paste it here and let's copy for the other column as well. Now let's add the name for each column. Category and then start date, end date and auto close. And also let's add our reference variable for filter function. And let's save this. So now I can see that we are having that filter text box for each column and let me try to filter with uh, video so I can see that uh, it is starting with V so it's getting filtered by task name. Let's do same for category. Let's do for social so it's getting filtered fine. But here I can see one problem if I will try to filter auto close by if I will try uh, type N here. So I can see that I'm not getting a record and instead if I will write F so I can see the record is still there and why it is happening let me go through the code so if you will check our code and let's open our HTML so I can uh, see that we are using uh, uh, not this one Yeah, we are adding this expression and by that we are uh, adding yes or no. But uh, we are doing filter directly by auto close column. So because of that reason, uh, that filter is expecting true or false, but we are having value yes or no. And that is the reason that filter is not working. And same problem we are having for start date and end date. So let's see how can we fix this so now let's first open our the model which is a to do model and here uh, i am going to create uh, three additional property one for auto close one for the end date and one for the start date so let's first create and then i will explain you So I'm creating this property to contain the actual value what we are displaying in our view in our HTML. So this auto close will contain yes and no. This uh, start date will contain the full date uh, which we are going to show to our user and same for the end date. And also let's make it nullable. So how can I make it uh, nullable? Yeah, we have option. We can add a question mark here. So by this we are making it as a nullable so now uh, i have to assign the values for this pro three properties size right? because we are getting values for all these properties but not for the newly created properties so let's go to our component and here we can say that we are getting the items and we are assigning this in our to do's so instead of that what i will do is i will first uh, assign the empty array to my to do's property and here instead of directly assigning i will push item in my array and i will loop this items so how can i loop yes i can use this for each and i can use arrow function here and Now I can push this item to our to do array. Okay, so this dot to do's then dot push. So still our purpose is not resolved because we are doing this for assigning the values to our new properties. So now let's wrap this item inside a curly bracket and uh, not here, it should be here and now i can use a spread operator to copy the array and then uh, i can check what else the new properties like auto close vm and now let's assign it so let's say it is item 
dot auto close so if it is true then it should be yes else it should be false not false it should be no right so let's do this and just replace this auto close vm in our html just replacing is auto close with auto close vm and also removing this condition so now as we have replaced uh, auto is auto close with auto close vm and in the filter also we are passing auto close vm so now let's see in the browser if our code is working fine or not so now let me type f here so now i can see i am not getting any record and let's see if i will type n so i can see my all record is existing if i will type o then i cannot see the still record is there and now nothing is coming so now my auto close is working fine now let's fix similar way for the start date and end date so uh, for making our start date and end date is a long date I don't have this pipe in my component, right? But uh, Angular is giving me a date pipe which I can use in my com component. So first I need to import that date pipe in my module. So let's start with that. So date pipe is a service. So where can I inject the service? Yes, in the provider, sorry. But we don't have providers in our uh, to-do module. So let's... Uh, edit or uh, what i'm thinking we can use this at multiple places so currently we don't have any uh, core module or shared module so let's uh, add in the app module instead of in the to do module so let's open our app module and here i can add uh, my dead pipe right after this so let's add now i can inject uh, this service right so where can i inject yes correct in the constructor so let's add our date pipe service here and let's queue type date pipe and import it and let's do this now let's scroll down and here I can add my other properties like uh, start dead VM and it should be this dot dead pipe and then we are having method called transform so if I will see this method so it is expecting a first value then format so our value should be item dot start dead and format should be long dead right so uh, format we can pass as a string so let's give value item dot start date and format will be a, a long date so long date and let's do this similar for end date as well so let's paste it here and change this for to end date vm change this to end date and save this and now i am going to replace this uh, start date and end date with the uh, start date vm and end date vm in, in html so after uh, changing the html i just came to the application and now let's try to filter start date so now yeah the card is still there and yeah i can see that my filter is working fine let's try to filter with end date also so let's queue end it and this is also working that's all for this video in the next video we will work on the dashboard thank you for watching